If you're not in class today, I want to show you some quick hints for doing your capacitor problems. As always, make sure you show your work for all your problems. So it wants to know the charge and energy that could be stored on these capacitors. So you're gonna do this twice. Now, if we do a quick review of your formulas, we have capacitance equals the insulator, the universal constant, the area of the plates, and the distance between the plates. Now you do not need to use that formula because the capacitance of both capacitors is already stated right on the capacitor itself. However, I want to remind you of the formula. Now we want to hook these things up. So we use charge equals CV. Here's your capacitance, here's your voltage. Remember, that's the maximum voltage you're supposed to be able to put on the capacitor. So that's what we're going to use. For this one, you're doing the same formula. The C, make sure you change it from micro to normal farads. And then make sure you use your 2100 volts as your voltage. Okay? So again, you're just finding how much charge can be stored. Then you're going to do energy stored on the capacitor and you're doing that for each capacitor. We wanna know which capacitor is gonna be able to hold more energy. Is it the high capacitance, low voltage, or is it the low capacitance, high voltage? All right, so you should be fine working through this. Put your work on this slide. Now you're gonna build a capacitor out of some metal plates. You're going to have to find the area of the plates. Make sure you're working meters. Then you're going to separate the plates by a certain distance, and you're going to put a piece of paper in between. Okay, make sure you turn that distance into regular meters. So then you'll use your formula. Look up the K value for paper. It's on your dielectric information sheet. Remember your EO is on your uh, physical constant sheet. Area, meter squared, distance in meters. We then hook it to a car battery. So make sure you remember that's 12 volts. You're then finding out how much energy is in there. And finally, the electric field between the plates. Okay, so you have a lot of things to find, but it's pretty straightforward. Finally, you're gonna have a problem that you work on on your own, and you're just using the same basic formulas. This time, your plates are gonna be circular, so make sure you find the area using pi r squared. Make sure your radius is in meters. If you have any other questions, stop in during Macaulay 1 or ask me during the class period. Just pop on the Google Meet and yell out that you have a question.